Hello yogis. So today we're going to be working on a little bit of breath connect and one of the best ways to do this is through sun salutation. We're going to challenge it up just a little bit by adding a block into our practice. So make sure that you grab one, have it on hand. Let's meet at the top of our mat in standing position and get started. So you're going to take the block, minus side, in between the thighs, right above the knee. So you want the short edge to be shooting out. This is gonna help us stay mindful with our connection to our body. So let's find our mountain pose, put a squeeze on that block. You're gonna hear me say that a few times through these first few rounds. Putting a nice squeeze on the block, looping the shoulders back, rooting down through the feet, slight tuck in the tailbone. Engage the core, feel the core start to turn on. You're gonna feel your core in a completely different way through these first few rounds. So make sure you have some space. Go ahead, take some nice solid breaths in through the nose and out through the nose or mouth. Just connect here and let's get ready to flow. On your inhale, you're going to lift the arms up. Keep a squeeze on that block. Exhale as you hinge from hips, dive forward. Inhale as you half lift, placing your hands wherever you need to and then exhale as you fold. Now we're just gonna take small little steps back, planting the hands, or you can hop back if you feel like it. We're gonna find our planks. This is gonna be a really fiery plank, so we're gonna hang out here for a moment. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Slight lift in the hips here. Really feel those legs engage. Shift forward onto the toes, knees, chest, chin for this first round, warming up the shoulders. Inhale for cobra, fire up the triceps by pressing in through the hands. Exhale as you press up through a modified plank and downward facing dog. Keep a squeeze on that block with the inner thighs, being mindful. Start to take little hops or little bitty baby walk up to the hands. Inhale for a nice half lift and exhale, fold, root and rise all the way up, keeping a firm grip onto that block. And we're gonna take it right back down. So we've got two more rounds like this. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you fold, step or hop back and find your plank. That plank hold, really engage the thighs, lower down through chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale for cobra or up dog, squeezing onto that block. You can feel it. Exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Take a small walk or hop forward, pulling in the core. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale as you fold. Think of your body as, an, as a wave here, so don't be so stagnant with the motion. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, take it back down. Really connect to the breath. Inhale as you lift. Exhale as you fold. Step it back, find your plank all on one. Exhale, plank and lower down through knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend, wherever that may take you for this practice. And then exhale, big exhale, downward facing dog. Rise to toes, bend the knees, step or walk forward. Inhale for a nice half lift. And exhale as you fold. Root to rise all the way up. Nice squeeze on that block, don't let go yet. And exhale, flip the hands to heart center. Feel the breath, feel the energy radiating through the body. Feel how inviting the block into our space really helps us be mindful of our breath. So remove the block and we're gonna flow through three more rounds, keeping that same engagement in mind. So think about it as you flow. Inhale, lift, arms up overhead. Exhale as you dive forward. Inhale as you halfway lift. Exhale, plant hands, step or walk it back. Lower down through your vinyasa here. Being mindful. Remember that feeling of the block. Downward facing dog. Come to toes, bend the knees, step or walk forward. Half lift on your inhale. Exhale as you fold. Root to rise all the way up. Nice breath connect here. Exhale, take it back down. So with every motion, inhale as you lift. Exhale as you fold, step it back all on the same exhale if you can, lowering down through your version of a chaturanga. Inhale for your back bend, and then exhale as you take it back into downward facing dog. 
On the inhale, you rise to toes and bend the knees, step or walk forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, root to rise. Nice energy flowing throughout the body, throughout the breath. Last one here, take it back down. Inhale, half lift. Your flow, your practice. Step it back. You know what to do. Lower down on your time. Try to keep it all in one exhale. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal it out here. Catch the breath. Feel the radiation, the energy going on through the body. I tell my students oftentimes, if you don't have time for a full practice, do a few sun salutations. Softly come to the knees, and we're going to go ahead and shift the shins to one side. Keeping that abdominal engagement in mind, we're just going to slowly start to lower down one vertebrae at a time, lengthening it out on our mat space. So take up your space here. Really let go. Feel the breath. Your breath should be ignited now on fire. So as you lie here in Shavasana, imagine yourself in your most peaceful place, whatever that may be. Maybe it's in your room. Maybe it's on a beach next to a pond under a nice big blue sky and mentally flow through your sun salutation A. Inhaling as you lift, exhaling as you forward fold, inhale as you half lift, exhale as you step or hop it back, lower down through your chaturanga, inhale for your back bend, exhale downward facing dog. So just mentally flow through this in your space, in your own mental space, really connected to the breath and connected to nothing else. Let go, lie here for as long as you can, for as long as time will allow. As you feel ready, you can start to awaken the body if you'd like or lay here for a few more moments. Deepest gratitude to you for sharing your practice with me. I hope you feel energized, focused, and ready to take on your day. Namaste.